Hi there everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 8.1 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. This lesson is called Multiples of Unit Fractions. If you're in my class, you should be filling out page 315 in your big book as you go along with this. So um, before we even get started, let's go back and review what unit fractions are. Unit fractions are fractions that will always have a 1 in the numerator. So for example, if you're doing, dealing with fifths, um, writing that as unit fractions would be one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. If you're dealing with thirds, it'll be one-third plus one-third plus one-third. If you're dealing with halves, one-half plus one-half, and so on and so forth. So unit fractions will always have a one in the numerator. So you need to know that in order to do this lesson. So let's just go ahead and do the unlock the problem. At a pizza party, each pizza was cut into six equal slices. So here's our pizza cut into six equal slices. At the end of the party, there was five six of a pizza left. So five six were left. Roberta put each of the leftovers slices in its own freezer bag. So how many bags did she use? What part of the pizza did she put in each bag? So write 5 6 is the product of a whole number unit using a new and a unit fraction. The picture shows 5 6 or 5 6 size parts. Each 6 size part of the pizza can be shown by the unit fraction 1 6. So each one of those is 1 6 and there's 5 of them. So if they each get their own freezer bag, there's going to be 5 bags that she puts it in. And inside of each of those five bags, it's going to have a one six size piece. So we're going to use what we know about unit fractions to show this in two ways. So we have five six, which is one six plus one six plus one six plus one six plus one six. Or we're doing one six five times. So we write that as a big number five times one six. The unit fractions represent the part of a pizza in each bag. The number of add-ins, so here we have five add-ins, we're adding five of them, or the multiplier represents the number of bags used. So we had five bags used, and each of them were one six size. So Roberta used five bags, she put one sixth of a pizza in each bag. Okay, so that's basically the lesson. They want you to understand that five six is equal to five times one six. So let me just teach you a simple, easy way to do this lesson. It's actually very simple. All you do, this numerator, becomes your big whole number that you are multiplying by and then you just write a unit fraction of your denominator. So if we had, and that will work for any number, any problem that they give you, if they gave you 7 eighths and they wanted you to write that as multiples of unit fractions, you'd say that's equal to 7 times 1 eighth. If you had three-fourths and they wanted you to write that as a, a multiple of a unit fraction, you'd write three times one-fourth. Pretty easy, actually. This is a pretty easy lesson. So you just need to remember what a unit fraction is so that when you hear that vocabulary in the lesson, you'll know that it's wanting you to write a fraction with a one in the numerator. So you're just going to be changing whatever fraction they give it to you as having a big whole number and multiplying that by a unit fraction. All right, so that's lesson 8.1. If you're in my class, again, you should have filled out page 315. And also, um, the password for this lesson is going to be puzzle. So write that down in your planner so that I know you watched the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.